हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे विल सी मैक्सवेल्स करेक्शन टू एम्पियर्स लॉ सो एज वी नो बिफोर मैक्सवेल एम्पियर लॉ रेड यू नॉट जे so let's see what is the problem in this equation so first of all take divergence on both the side so what we get is that so as we know that divergence of a curl is zero so the left left hand side of our equation becomes zero so finally which what we will get is that del dot j is equal to zero so this was the conclusion of ampere's law so as we can clearly say this implies that ampere's law only is valid for steady state current okay so to generalize this equation to generalize this maxwell came up with maxwell's ampere law so we will arrive at that equation based on our continuity equation so the continuity equation reads del dot j plus so as we know del dot d equal to rho or del dot e equal to rho by epsilon not so putting this in the continuity equation we get del dot j plus rho by dot t del dot d equal to 0 now taking the divergence operator del operator outside we get j plus rho d by rho t equal to 0 or or we can also write this as j plus epsilon not do e by do t equal to 0 okay so here also we we got that same analogy so instead of j maxwell replace that j with j plus epsilon not do e by do t or j plus do d by do t so from now this red like maxwell's sorry ampere ampere maxwell law which read like del cross v equal to mu not j plus mu not epsilon not do e by do t so this replacement term is for time varying current or electric field and this he named as displacement current okay so this was maxwell's correction to ampere's law